can't. Like, I, I can't. I cannot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to be reviewing Rihanna's brand new hydrating foundation. And I'm also going to be reviewing her primer. So I've never tried the primer before and I'm not really in love with the primer that I have now. So I thought, why not get it, do a review on the two together. So if you guys want to see me use both of these products together and give my honest opinion on it, please stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Soft Silk Primer and I got this because I really don't have a primer that I love. Um, all my other primers are, they're okay, but I'm not in love with them. And I've heard some pretty good things about this primer, so I thought, why not? Okay, so the primer is really smooth. Like, I feel like this is very hydrating. And I have really dry skin, so I need like all the moisture that I can get. And this feels like it's like, Ooh, it feels like butter. Like a really good moisturizer. Like this feels like my Pond's moisturizer and a primer. So I like that. And it smells okay. It doesn't have like a, you know, a distinctive smell, but. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation. And it's really cute. So it comes like this, but once you take the top off, flip it upside down and it has a pump for you. So, I actually already pumped some on my hand. So, now I'm gonna just take my, oh, what is that on my finger? <laughs> Gross, okay. So I'm gonna take my finger and just dab this along my face. And you might be wondering, what's up with skin, girl? Um, so I actually have a skin condition that's called psoriatic dermatitis. And it pretty much is like when my skin just gets discolored in certain places. So again, I have really, really dry skin. And when it gets really, really dry, it kind of gets, I mean, it's flaky in a way, but like, just like dry patches, dry patches is what it gets. And so um, during like the summertime or any time where the weather changes pretty often, that's when you can start to like notice it more. Um, so right now in California, in the Bay Area to be exact, it's been pretty, pretty warm out here, like really hot, but it fluctuates, like it changes, it's so inconsistent. One second it's really, really hot, then it'll be like back to 60 degrees, and my skin can't handle it, like it doesn't know what to do, and so it just starts to get really dry and gets patchy, and then in those patchy areas, unfortunately, it gets discolored. So. It's been something that I've been dealing with ever since I was a kid, and I mean, of course I was like very insecure about it when I was younger, but now I just realize like, hey, this is my skin, I'm gonna have to deal with it. I've kind of learned how to work with it and what I can and can't put on my face. Like it's really, really sensitive. I can't, I can't pretty much use anything if it's not really natural or if it's not suggested by my doctor. So it's a, it's a work in progress, but I don't let that stop me. I still feel beautiful and I'm gonna make sure that, you know, I don't let any comments about it affect me. So that's why I wanted to kind of address it because at first I was kind of thinking like, oh, should I do this video right now? And I was like, well, my face looks like this. You know, I don't really like what it looks like this, but I also was like, you know what? Hey, this is your face. Like it or love it, hate it or love it, whatever. I'm still gonna do me, so. So now I am just using my beauty blender to blend everything together. Um, it feels pretty lightweight, so it's not bad at all. Like, of course Fenty is always, always going to be one of my favorite, favorite brands because it has like perfect shade matches. So for me, my skin tone, obviously it kind of changes due to um, my skin condition, but also like, it's just very hard for some reason for me to find a shade that's like not ashy and like dull, but that's still golden and has like, you know, the proper undertones. And Fenty has pretty much hit it on the nail every time. So that's why Rihanna is obviously, obviously in the lead for, you know, makeup brand of the year. I really, really like how this turned out. So this is just one layer, very natural, very light. You saw that I went ahead and buffed it out first with my Real Techniques buffing brush, and then I went over it with the Beauty Blender. But 
I'm actually wanting to do just a little bit more coverage, so I'm gonna go ahead and do two more pumps on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna blend that out as well. Okay, so this is the foundation on with two layers, so obviously you can definitely keep it lightweight and do just one layer, and you can also build it up, so that's what I did. I want to keep it more moderate and not necessarily full coverage, so I went ahead to just do one extra layer, and I think that this looks really, really good. Like, this looks perfect. The, the shade of this is like, hold on, the shade of this is like on point. I actually have to mix my matte. Fenty Beauty Shop Foundation, but I think I just got, you know, maybe the wrong shade because 390 is like absolutely perfect. Like I feel like this is great. This is me. This is my face. This is my, this is my skin tone. So that's great. Now we're going to go ahead and keep this going and finish out the look. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Fenty Beauty Concealer and this is in the shade 385. Okay, so I went ahead to put the concealer on and I used shade 385. I also have shade 350 that I'm actually gonna go ahead and apply underneath my eyes just to brighten it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with my beauty blender. And I'm only putting that under my eyes. I don't necessarily wanna highlight these other areas. I just kinda wanna, you know, brighten them a little bit. And I really like this foundation, like as far as blending this out, like this is so easy. Even in my other videos, I suggest that when you're using the matte foundation to just kind of spray your face in between if you do have dry skin because it can get stuck. But I'm literally not having that problem at all with this foundation. Like this is like, I'm, I'm telling you, it's like butter. Oh my gosh. This, this is perfect. This foundation is really, this is really everything. This is everything. Like Rihanna, like you already had it down and you already like took the crown for foundation and makeup across the board. But adding this formula, girl, girl. Okay guys, so this is the look before setting with any powder, any under eyes, anything. And I must say that I am really blown away. Like, I am shook at how good this looks. Like, it looks like skin and it looks very natural, but then it still looks like I have, like, you know, a nice coverage going on. And I am so for this. Like, I do, like, more natural looks, if anything. Like, very natural looks. I'm gonna set underneath my eyes and in the areas in which I did my concealer. Okay, so this is just skin, no contour yet, but we're gonna go ahead and get to that part now. Still, still loving it. You guys, this is like perfect. This is, I don't even know how to compare this to any other foundation. There's been no foundation like this. Biana says, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, Thank you. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Fenty Mash Stick in the shade Truffle, and I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. You guys, this is just gliding, like this is like butter. It's butter, baby. This foundation is life. Like, I'm not even being extra right now. Like, I'm dead ass. This is life. Like, if you have dry skin, I'm going to live by this foundation. I am going to live, live for the gods with this foundation. This is literally everything that I've needed. Hey guys, so I apologize. So, unfortunately, I thought I had enough storage on my camera for me to go ahead and film continuously but unfortunately it cut off to set my entire face using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and because the process is pretty long and the camera was already off I went ahead to do my eyebrows off camera so 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Fenty Beauty Sunkissed Bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy and I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. Wow, you guys, this foundation is life. Like, this looks so natural. It's so moisturizing. Like, I, I, I really have no words for this. Like, I really am so, 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 so proud of Rihanna for coming out with this hydrating formula for those girls who have dry skin. Like, I honestly, this looks like skin. Like, I can't. Like, I. I can't. I cannot. This looks so much like skin. It feels so good. Still very lightweight on my skin. I am living. Like, I am here for all of this. All of this, sis. All of it. So, what is my opinion on the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation? I am in love. I am in freaking love with this foundation. I really, really, really love how the primer helped the process as well. Like, there was no like getting stuck anywhere. There was no issues whatsoever with blending. I am here for the combo. Two of these together in combinations with all the other Fenty Beauty products that I use, I am here for it. So it gets stamp of approval from me. I am so, so, so in love with it. Like you guys, I'm. I love it. Feels really, really good on my skin. I don't feel like I have anything on it, to be completely honest. And just looking in the mirror, I can tell that this looks very natural, very real. So, claps for Rivi. Claps for Fenty Beauty. Like, you guys are killing it. Killing it. So, this is a two part video. So, I'm going to be going ahead to review the Kylie Cosmetics birthday collection so if you guys want to see that please stay tuned please subscribe like this video if you like this video and comment below and share with your friends um i'm really trying to be consistent i actually have a setup now i have a beauty room that's in the works so there's gonna be more content coming guys but you won't know unless you subscribe to my channel so subscribe like and comment on this video share with your friends and i will see you guys in the next video